What is going on, YouTube? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are going to uh, be diving into the markets a little bit here tonight on Sunday night. We've had a pretty quiet weekend, but it seems to be ramping up a little bit. Hopefully, we get some people uh, hanging out, getting ready for this new week uh, that's coming right around the corner. A lot of things to dive into, guys. A lot of cryptos we're looking at from small caps, large caps, uh, AI, meme coins, um, what we're seeing right now is pretty solid here uh, in the markets. So uh, that is good to see. We're seeing some green. We're seeing some green back here on the market. So that's good to see. Uh, we could see Bitcoin has kind of flipped a little bit, turned a little bullish here, up 4%. So we'll be taking a look at some of that uh, here in the live stream. Also uh, going to be taking a look at the small caps, of course. Of course, the small caps. So uh, we'll wait for a little bit, uh, see some people bounce in here. And of course, we got to start with Bitcoin, the granddaddy of them all. Uh, of course, this is the uh, daily chart here. So we're trying to, you know, kind of break out of this little consolidation. We've been kind of boring, honestly, the last four or five days, but it is starting to turn the corner here. As you guys can see, green across the board. Love to see it. Love to see it. So uh, let's see who we got in the chat here. We've got chicken taco, chicken tacos, man. That, that sounds good right now. It is Sunday evening, guys, so uh, we did a little vertical live stream earlier, kind of just chilling out. It's been a crazy day today. I got into a new condo, so I've uh, been trying to furnish this thing. It's just been nuts, and of course, crypto has been crazy um, lately, so it's been a lot of fun, man. It's It's been great. Um, love hanging out with you guys on the uh, live streams, of course. This is live. Adam, welcome. Hey, what's up, Washington Heights? How we doing? Uh, Mayo, oh, what's up? Check out Bope. AKA the book of meme, um, the book of Pepe. Oh, okay. I got you. What's up, Foxy? How we doing? Crow, Vet, Gala, Kakinu, and Doge. Some of the things you're buying. Okay. Uh, put on Ultra Live. What's Ultra Live, Isaac? Anyone get in uh, the Spooky the Phantom? Yeah, we're actually in that one. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly it's doing, but we are in that one. What's spooky doing? Yeah, it's uh, it's up a little bit. It's trying to break out. We got in on day one, actually. I think we're still a little bit below our average cost, though. So we're still waiting on that one a little bit. Um, what's going on, everybody? What do you think about Paw Zone, Zach? Uh, don't know a ton about it, Immortal. Um, I just you know heard about it, obviously. Um, NFT Marketplace, building on Shibarium, I think. Evening, Zach and fellow investors. Medman, what's up? Mouse is in the house. Uh, what's the best move if a coin blows up huge? Have a profit-taking plan in place before it blows up, James. That's the key. That's the key right there. You got to have a profit-taking strategy before it blows up because if you're just in something and it blows up like crazy and you have no idea when and why you should take profits because you haven't mapped it out, that's when it becomes just an emotional roller coaster, man. It's still going to be emotional, but you make it a little bit easier on yourself if you have a plan going in, man. Ken, what's up, bro? Jamaica in the house. What's going on, guys? We're not even five minutes in. Just kind of seeing who's going to be popping in here. Then we're going to get into the alpha. We're going to get into the markets. Large caps we're liking that are moving. Uh, mid caps, small caps. You guys know how we do. We give it to you real. We give it to you raw. We give you free alpha right here on the live stream. Smash the like button. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. This is the best opportunity to make money right now, I think, ever. Honestly, for somebody to come in this market and work hard and learn the ins and outs of this industry like we have been doing, and there's still a lot to learn, by the way, but we've been here for three plus years now. We've learned a ton, and uh, we are so much more prepared in this bull run than the previous one. What's up, Foxy? Started a position with Fetch and ICP today. Nice, Dushan. Uh, in Miami. What's up, Isaac? Boca G, any clue? And Boca G's in the house. Any clue about Stake Bone and Shiba on Shiba Swap? Have not heard anything on the Shiba Swap front. Uh, we're still waiting on Shiba Swap 2.0. What do you say at Shinu? Mike, what's up? Hey, what's up, Mr. Junior? How we doing? We got a ton of people in the house. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go. Holder since 2021. Um, Sandbox in the metaverse to me, it's not as flashy as it once was. Will it come back? Probably. And guys, 
this stream is not being sponsored or brought to you by anybody, uh, anything in this can, but we are going to have one. We are going to have one tonight. Ah, it's been a long day. And instead of hanging out and watching my podcast, I wanted to come on here and hang out with you guys and bring you guys some alpha, bring you guys some news. So good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, happy to see everyone here and uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. How you feeling about that uh, DiCaprio, Richard? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Um, I'm still in it. It looked uh, it looked dangerous there for a while this afternoon on the hourly, but it's starting to make a recovery here. If you guys missed the live stream earlier this afternoon, we were aping into uh, some Solana meme coins. DiCaprio, this is one we're still in. Um, I'm still above where I got in, Richard. I wrote it up. Uh, it almost got to my profit-taking strategy. It got to like 1.1 million. And I wanted it to get to 1.4 to take my initial out. It never got there. We're still above water, though. We got in at like 670 million market cap. So we're still above water. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you guys are coming in from. I appreciate you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys. All right. I know the lighting's not the best. I don't I don't have my studio here. I'm going to be probably going into my office, my satellite office a little bit this week. Um eventually once I do my office here, it'll be cool, it'll be pretty sick. I'm going to do like a standing room, standing desk and stuff so we can have sit down and stand up conversations with um yeah, I got my eyes on a 100-inch monitor. That would be pretty sweet. A uh, 100-inch TV that's also a monitor. So we got some plans. We got some plans. Uh, Laguna One, what's up? Appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, let's take a look first and foremost here at the large caps. Um, we'll get rid of the highlights. Uh, we'll keep them there. That's fine. Okay, so uh, movers right now. Top movers in the top 100. Dog with hat, guys. 19%. Ondo, 19%. Conflux, 16%. ICP's moving a little bit, up 13%. Hey, there's Beam up a little bit. Uh, finally, some AI cryptos moving a little bit. Singularity Net. Uh, Bonk, we did say it was kind of you know getting ready, poised for a little move up. Let's take a look at the Bonk chart, because this is one we've been watching potentially here for a market move. Uh, let's check it out on Bybit. There we go. So, yeah, it's trying to break out of some consolidation here on the bonk chart. We're watching it closely here. So that's uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, let's see here. Caspa up a little bit here right now. That's good to see. It's been a nice little seven-day stretch here uh, here on Cas. I mean, the one-year chart still looks phenomenal here. I mean, look at the all chart on Caspa. I mean, that still looks just phenomenal, right, on a little bit of a dip. But Caspa is just so freaking bullish right now. So freaking bullish. This is probably my one one of, if not my highest conviction, large caps right now, guys. Casper's right up there. I just absolutely love the potential here for this one. I mean, look at that. It's got $3.4 billion market cap. I feel like it's still underground. It's not listed on Binance or Coinbase yet. Um, and it's already a top 50 crypto. Uh, Aptos has been really interesting too the last week or so. Look at Aptos in the last month. Up 73%. We talked about this one this morning too. Uh, this one has just made an unbelievable reversal uh, dating back to October last year. We were sitting at basically $5 flat. We're more than 3X from October Getting close to all-time highs on Aptos, guys. This is a Solana competitor. It's much newer. It is yet to see a crypto bull run. Aptos is another one I have really, really high conviction in for this bull run. Aptos and Sui, to me, are like kind of um, twins, if you will. Why? Well, if we go down here on the Aptos kind of breakdown, we'll see that it is a layer one proof of stake blockchain. But it's a novel smart contract programming language called Move. 
This is a Rust-based programming language independently developed by Meta, which is formerly Facebook's DM blockchain engineers. So this is basically a lot of the Meta or Facebook investors that were getting ready for DM. They pretty much moved it over here. They're using the same programming language called Move. It's a Rust-based programming language independently developed by Meta. Now, why do I like Aptos and Sui? Well, if you go over to SUI, if we type in SUI, SUI, it's also a top you know, 60 crypto, ranked number uh, 58. I really like this one as a new large cap, guys. The all chart here looks really good. They recently just set all-time highs, okay? A little lower market cap too. But if you scroll down, you know, it's listed on Coinbase, Binance, listed on the top ones, which we want to see. Um, but check this out. SUI is a groundbreaking layer one, okay, designed to support the needs of global adoption by offering secure, powerful, and scalable development platform. Uh, SUI leverages a novel object-centric data model and the secure move programming language to address inefficiencies. That's the same programming language. So why are SUI and Aptos using the same program language? Well, if we go and look, look at this, just do a Google search, Aptos and SUI. Um, connections. So here you go. Check this out, guys. Is Aptos blockchain the same or related to SUI? So check this out. No, Aptos and SUI are completely different and unrelated projects. The only connection between the two is that both teams have previously worked in blockchain development at Meta, formerly Facebook. Well, this is actually interesting because from what I researched and read, uh, these two teams actually split. The plan was to come over to blockchain and make one big blockchain um, with Sui and Aptos all as one. And they actually, you know, kind of had a falling out or whatever, and they decided to split and create two. Okay. Um, Similarities, they both use Move, a Rust-based programming language for parallel execution on the blockchain, but SUI has a slightly version, uh, has a slightly different version of it than Aptos. SUI's version of Move programming language makes it clear when an object is owned, shared, mutable, or immutable, whereas Aptos does not. And although both blockchains use proof of stake, the consensus algorithm behind it is different. Aptos uses block STM, SUI uses Narwhal and Tusk, a DAG-based meme pool used for parallelization. So it's DAG-based. Um, so is Caspa. Caspa is also DAG-based. Um, I can't decide which one I like more, SUI or Aptos. I'm just kind of slowly been accumulating both of them somewhat recently, but I do like both of them. I'm, I'm hoping one of them, if not both of them, do what or similar to what Solana did in 2021. That would be amazing. Right? What's up, everybody? Zach, you see a ship pump soon. Uh, constipated last two weeks. Or you mean consolidated? Not constipated, right? <laughs> Artemis AI. Yeah, we were an early one there in that in that one, Juba. I like it, man. We just talked, we talked about that one on the channel uh this morning, too. Um so Aptos, by the way, if you guys are looking at this, Aptos is uh, founded by two former Meta employees, years of experience as senior developer and engineer in the blockchain industry, a um, lot of VC money. Sui's co-founded by Evan Chang and Sam Blackshear and a few other. They were former senior leaders of Meta's advanced blockchain research and development organization. See, they're all coming in from Meta and they're using the same programming language, but then they split off. They were responsible, the, these, these leaders of SUI, by the way, for creating some of the most advanced open source components, such as the programming language, execution engine, and the cryptography of the DM blockchain. So these were, SUI were kind of like the nerds, <laughs> if you will. The, 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 the better nerds, maybe, or the bigger nerds. <laughs> Yeah, Vito, I do still DCA. I, I kind of do it strategically, though, because I have a lot of, you know, especially like these when we're talking about these top layer ones, you know, meme coins are totally different. And we'll get into meme coins a little bit here in this stream, too, guys. 
So if you guys are waiting for meme coin talk, we will get into it. Small caps, what we're doing, what we're buying. Um, crypto is pumping a little bit here tonight. So is this kind of something to get excited about for the week? Um, we'll wait and see what kind of what happens here throughout the night and tomorrow, but it does look promising. It's been quiet. Um, but yes, I still buy Bitcoin a little bit every single day, Vito. I do buy more on red days, but I buy a small amount of Bitcoin every day. Just have it automatically bought. Um, but I am more strategic about which cryptos I DCA into, right? I'm looking for what's what's uh, undervalued. And right now, that's kind of why I'm talking about Sui and Aptos right now. Even though Sui's setting all-time highs, I still think it's very undervalued at a $2 billion market cap right now. It has, not to, it has yet to see a bull run. It's one thing if a crypto that has already been out for a really long time is setting all-time highs in this environment. It's another thing if a brand new crypto like Caspa, Sui, Aptos are setting all-time highs. There's still a big runway for them to do well because we're not at the peak. You know, we're not at the top of the market. We haven't really seen retail money come back in yet, guys. And that that should really get us excited. You know what I mean? That should get us really excited about what's potentially around the corner here. So yeah, Whiff and Ondo, top two gainers right now. Got Beam up a little bit, AGIX, ICP, looking good. But uh, that's a little breakdown of Aptos and Sui. That is um, why I like both of them. They're built both using the, this new programming language called Move. And this programming language was originally developed at Meta to power the DM blockchain. Um, and then they kind of split. But I kind of want a piece of both of them, Aptos and Sui. All right, so those are two that we like in the large cap space. And let's round out the large cap with a couple more plays, and then we'll kind of move into what's going on in the small cap space, the meme coin space. I know so many people are excited about what's happening over there right now. You know, just know that you guys, if you're brand new to crypto, or even if you need this reminder, your plan with meme coins should not be your same plan with your large caps, like Aptos, like I'm talking about here, like Cardano, SHIB, to me, it's a totally different strategy, completely different. And there's probably also another strategy somewhere in between, right? Where it's not a long-term or longer-term hold. It's not a short-term, but it's some like mid-term hold, right? Um, and I'm going to be taking a lot of profits, guys. Toward the end of this bull run, I'm going to be liquidating fully out of all coins. Fully. Out of a lot of them. And I will buy back in the bear markets. That is what I didn't do during this previous run. And we had the opportunity. It was right there. Charles with a $10 super chat. Charles, you're the man. I appreciate you, man. You did not need to do that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Charles. And you've been here quite a bit lately, too. So I appreciate all the support. It really does mean a lot, guys. Um, seriously. As somebody, you know, who's just crazy about crypto, who's just crazy about growing the portfolio and growing the business, I live this, breathe this. I don't have a lot of uh, life outside of this. I really don't. I, I try to, but it's tough. You know, I just, I love this space so much. So you guys, I look at you guys, I know I haven't met a lot of you, but I look at you guys as like real like friends. I really do. And I, I notice people who are always here. So uh, Charles, I appreciate you, man. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, and guys, this goes for everybody out there. If there are some new people here, make sure you do subscribe, uh, to the channel. We we're here every single day grinding for you. It does mean a lot. Um, it does mean a lot. Um, let's see here. What's up? Uh, everybody Pepe is a meme coin with no intrinsic value or expectation of financial return. There's no formal team or roadmap. The coin is completely useless and for entertainment personally. Uh, yeah, Sal, 100%, Sal, 100%. But what you're saying doesn't mean we can't make money. So I think so many people have this, this roadblock, this, this thing that impacts them, really derails their, their opportunity sometimes of making money. Because people try to like say these things like, I'm not investing in something. I don't, you know, there's no intrinsic value. And like, there's a lot of people out there who won't. And that's okay. But I mean, 
Meme coins, you don't have to understand what they do. A lot of times they don't do anything. It's not about that. It's about understanding what does make meme coins move. It's a whole different thought process. There's no utility. There's no who's the team. Uh, the cool thing about meme coins is they're mostly decentralized, a lot more decentralized than, you know, when we know the founder. Like, like a meme coin like Pepe is way more decentralized than like Cardano in a lot of ways. And Cardano is decentralized in its own right when it's talking about layer ones, but like versus like Solana and Pepe, it's far more decentralized. So it's actually interesting in that, in that, um, in that conversation. But when you're thinking about meme coins, for me personally, the things that will allow me to get in to a meme coin, I want to look at volume. I want to look at the top holders. I want to look at the supply. I want to run the contract through one of my trusted sources, probably a lot of people. And I'm not the most technical person, but guess what? This is why you network with the right people, where everybody fills in a gap and you get the right people around you in the right circles. And I send this, I say, I'll send a contract to people who are very, very smart, way smarter than I am. They'll come back to me. I look at more of the macro thing. I look at the community. I can understand liquidity. I can understand um, supply and volume, the feeling around this. Is it quote unquote memeable, <laughs> right? These are certain things like this is how we address the meme coin market. It's not the same way that we're addressing Aptos and Stacks and ICP and Polygon and Chainlink and SHIB and Avalanche and Cardano and XRP and Solana and Ethereum and Bitcoin. It's totally different. It's totally different, Saul. So I don't even know if I'm taking your comment out of context here. I apologize. I just thought it was interesting to make this really important point. You don't have to necessarily understand a meme coin to invest in it and make a lot of money. Now, it is a meme coin. You have to realize that, that it's not a guarantee. You're going to lose a lot chasing, aka gambling on meme coins. But there are ways to get better at gambling on meme coins. There are certain things you need to look at. And again, I mentioned it. Top wallets, liquidity, volume, community, understanding who the whales are and what some of those transactions look like doing an analysis around it. So there is homework that can be done on these sort of things to give you a much better feeling or understanding. Run the contract through trusted audits. For me, I use Quick Intel and they have their own asset. I've been a day one investor with them. They're a great team. I can rely on them. I can send them a contract and they'll look at it for me. I mean, uh, infinite money, you don't necessarily have to snipe. I mean, snipers do great work. I've never been a sniper. I've never had somebody snipe for me. Um, sure. I mean, you could be Jared and be a sandwich bot and all that stuff, but I'm telling you guys, I've made money in crypto, not doing any of that. I mean, I've turned $2,000 in my Solana meme coin portfolio into like 27 grand. And I've missed on a lot, but there's been a few, a few big winners and I'm basically utilizing what I'm gaining here and just building a really strong position in Solana. And some of those gains have went into Caspa. Uh, Aptos and Sui, those three in particular, from my Solana meme coin gains. Like, and that was just, I mean, dude, and guys, I got to tell you this, like, it's not easy. Like, I don't really have a life, okay? Like, this is my life. And the thing is, so many people, like, I'm very lucky in that, A, I don't have another job. This is my job. I was very lucky to do this full time. Okay. I don't have another job. I don't have kids. I don't have a wife. Therefore, I don't have a ton of responsibilities. I understand that side of it. So what do I do? I work generally 12 to 14 hours a day. Now I enjoy every second of it. I mean, not every second. There are, there are days where I don't want to do it, but dude, I, I'm grinding, man. I mean, this is, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'm super lucky. I, I understand that. But in addition to being lucky, I, and there's definitely luck involved, but I've also, I'm also putting in the work, guys. Like, and I'm not saying that to sound conceited. Like, I'm not saying, like, look at me, I'm the hardest worker or whatever. I, you know, I'm not saying it like that. I'm just telling you guys, I freaking live, breathe, sleep this. I mean, here it is Sunday at 8 39 p.m., and I'm hanging out with you guys. I worked all, you know, 
off and on all day today. I took four hour break to go and look at couches and chairs and I took my grandparents out. You know what I'm saying? Like, other than that, I've been working all day. It's Sunday. You know, my whole family was eating dinner at six o'clock. I told them I couldn't go because I had to work. I mean, so you have to make sacrifices and I know everybody is in different positions and I'm not saying like, you know, I don't want to be that guy like, you know, motivate, you know, whatever, whatever you, you get where I'm coming from though, guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of potential in Solana meme coins, tons. Zach, what do you think of the price of Bitcoin will be before the halving if you had to guess? Thank you. Honestly, man, every prediction and everything has been thrown out the window, Johnny. I mean, with um, with 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 the amount of money that's flowing into Bitcoin ETFs. Now, the inflows have slowed down a little bit. I'm interested to see if they're going to pick back up. There was about a three-week stretch there on Monday morning where, like, last Monday was the first Monday in the last, like, month where we didn't see, like, a huge price pump for Bitcoin. So it has slowed down in the last week. Will it ramp back up this week? We'll see. We'll see. Um, no, Corey, I appreciate that, man. And I don't want to come off and sound like, whoa, you know, look at me. Like, dude, I, I had uh, nothing, man. I came from very humble beginnings. You know, we didn't have as much as everyone. We didn't have, you know, we were somewhere in the middle. I mean, we, we were, you know, I grew up in like a duplex with my mom and dad, like, I watched them struggle and my dad work a bunch of odd jobs like to make ends meet. And yeah, you know, like I don't come from some like crazy background, but it's like work ethic, dedication. And I was grinding to try to become an entrepreneur for a really long time, man. And and I want that message to get out to everybody like you can do this. It's just how hard do you want to work and how bad do you want it? And how are you going to respond when you fail? Because you will fail. I don't care what it is you do as an entrepreneur or starting, you will fail. You know, I failed four times, four, four failed small businesses until I found YouTube. And then when you find that thing that works, you're like, man, why didn't I find this sooner? But you have to go through it. Everybody's story is different, but there's never a road to success that looks like this. It's never a straight line, right? It's always like this, you know, and just embrace it and never feel like you made it. Never feel like you figured it all out. Keep a beginner's mindset and don't do it alone. Yeah. Meet the right people, connect with people, network, network, network. Um, all right. I feel like I'm being way too serious. We need to take a drink of beer. We need to do that. Um, and now we need to take a look at the small cap space, the degen space. All right. Hey, DiCaprio's pumping. Let's go. DiCaprio's pumping, guys. We're back over a million. Let's go. Dude, that 30-minute chart looks great. So we had the big sell-off early today, like right when we got off stream, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Freaking rug pull right when we got off stream. But no, it's bounced back. It's looking nice. Hey, we held our position at like 670K market cap. Now, if this thing can just get to like 1.37, 1.4, I can take my initial out. And it damn near almost did here on this spike. I'm going to have to watch this a little closer here. This five-minute look. Okay. So we, we, uh, we got into that. Um, we also just got into this new token on base. There's not a ton out on it yet. It's called Friends, F-R-E-N-Z. The only other base meme coin we're in um, is Brett. And Brett's been really good today. We'll take a look at that too. But this one is pretty low cap still, 1.16 million. Um, I'm in a bunch of like Telegram chats and stuff like that, big groups. And uh, some people were mentioning this one. That's the other thing. I highly encourage you guys to try to get into some of these big call groups. And like, there's they're everywhere on Telegram, just... And it takes a while to kind of build these relationships and find the right ones you like. And there's all kind of Twitter spaces. You can find out a lot of stuff on Twitter spaces, obviously YouTube. Um, just you got to go all in. But I like this frenzy one. So we did jump into this one. My Patreon members knew first. Jumped into this one around 500K. So we've doubled up our position here. Took my initial out already. So that was cool. And uh, that's live. 
going on right now. We'll see. We'll be tracking that. This is only a day old. This is a five minute chart. So this is the first day for friends. F R E N Z. Um, it's on base. I think there's going to be a lot of things on base. Um, okay. So then we've got, what else we got here? I'm just kind of going to go down the line here. Uh, I wonder if I can, can I take night mode off? Here we go. Oh, that's terrible though. Okay. never mind. We're going to keep dark mode on. I'm just not going to have a great picture. The lighting is bad, but that's fine. Um, Andy. This is Andy on Saul. Um, Andy on Saul. Uh, bouncing back nicely. I mean, we're still, we were in here around 11 mil. We took our initial out when we doubled up. And so we're still, we, we just got a, we got a moon bag here on Andy Saul. We'll see what happens. Good volume today. Um, came back really nicely here. So maybe we've bottomed out, hopefully. And guys, as we're going through this, if you're brand new and you don't know what's going on, we are going through, let me just explain this to everybody so everybody knows. We're going through a lot of like the small cap slash degen plays. Now, some of these on this list, and I'll try to go through these, some of these, some of these are straight meme coins, degen plays, straight gambling. Some of these other ones that I have on here are a lot of them are AI plays or layer twos that are actually legitimate small cap projects that I'm looking to hold longer term. And there's some other ones mixed in here too. As we go through, we'll we'll kind of give you guys the rundown. Physics, I don't know what I had this one on here as one to look. I actually never invest in this. I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out of that now or just delete it from my list. I was looking at it for a while. I didn't, I don't know. Um, spooky. Somebody mentioned this one already at the top. This is a Solana meme coin. 1.28 million. Hasn't really heated up just yet. Um, but this is the Phantom wallet logo, which is kind of interesting. So we are tracking that. We are watching that. Hey, we got a new member. Uh, Saeed Dula Khan has become a new YouTube member. What's up, man? I'll be able to see you very easily now on live streams and answer any questions you have. Try to get right to it. Aerodome is the best play on base. I know there's been a ton of them, man, and I'm focusing way more on base now. I know Aerodome, and that is a that is a Dex token, correct, William? I think that's a that's an actual Dex token. That is not a meme token, I believe. But I did uh, see that, so we will uh, we'll try to go through these. Uh, Pang on Saul did not never invested in this. We are seeing a nice little reversal. I've been watching it, maybe looking for an entry point. Uh, I like this daily candle here on the comeback. Um, I never did invest. It's just one of those things where you're just kind of constantly uh, looking for a looking for a play. Um, so paying, I mean, we'll see. I mean, this this had a lot of hype around, a lot of volume, eight point five five million, a lot of volume. We'll go full screen for a minute and welcome in everybody that's new. Appreciate you guys. Um, Broge on base just came out. Okay. We'll take a look at some of the base coins. Um, but I'm now invested in two of them. Tremp, this is our this is our best play of the year so far, guys. Um, I'm currently holding just a you know decent sized position still on Donald Tremp. <laughs> Crazy, right? 27 million. We found this at two hundred thousand dollar market cap. Uh, Carlos, I still hold Samo. That's one of the old OG meme tokens on Solana. Still hold it, brother. Um, um, investor Mike, the investor, told me about it, and I did buy a little bit. So we'll see what happens. You know, I feel like it's uh, sometimes tough when you're playing meme coins and utility to tokens all at once it's uh if anybody else out there is like me that's like man this is crazy sometimes playing you know meme coins but you also have your utility tokens it it's a lot you know you got to just you got to love crypto um i was i was watching this one for a while this wolf on avax looks okay still volume's slowing down a little bit um 
kind of a crazy one. It actually launched in 2023. So this is on uh, Avalanche. Starting to make a little bit of a comeback. I don't own this or anything, so full disclosure. Just kind of tracking it right now. Same thing with Sora. Sora I do own. Uh, it is making a little comeback today. I'm hoping it can make a bigger comeback, but I do like the volume picking up today a little bit. BOMO, I uh, thought this was interesting because it was the book of missing out when everybody missed out on BOM, um, book of memes, but I had I didn't buy it or anything. I mean, that's just it. coming back a little bit. I didn't buy it at all, though. Uh, Mumu, I do own a little bit of this. It's looking solid. Mumu is looking really solid. Mumu the bull. Um, we talked about this. We partnered up with them on a uh, marketing uh, for, for marketing. We partnered up with them for a video. Uh, we're still looking pretty solid. $47 million market cap. I think we talked about them right around a $40 million, give or take, a couple of days ago. Um, so it's kind of more established. The volume's still there. Hopefully we can make another leg up here and maybe push up, maybe get to a hundred million. And then once you get there, it's, it's, you know, then you're looking to, you know, really take the next step, but we'll see what happens there. VSG is one we talked about. They might be dropping in on our space tomorrow. How about this token, man? This thing launched in late 2023. This has been just an amazing one to watch. This is a layer two. So this is not a meme coin. Vitalik Smart Gas, VSG, okay? Not a meme token, an actual utility layer two crypto project um, that I've been invested in for a little while. We've been talking about them. Um, that's been a good one for us. I don't think ApeCoin's dead, Adam. I just think it's the hype, you know, the hype around the metaverse is dead. And everyone got excited about ApeCoin's other side metaverse. So I'm waiting to hear kind of what's going to happen with that, with the ApeCoin metaverse. I don't think it's dead. I think it's just forgotten about right now. And, you know, some of that capital, I think, has certainly rolled in elsewhere for sure. And eventually, I think it will resurface and, and probably rotate back over there. They We just need a catalyst over there. You know, there's just no catalyst. I'll have to look at this boat. A lot of people are mentioning it. I don't know about it, but we'll we'll take a look at it um, at some point when we get off the stream or something. Um, oh, I didn't mention uh, Kendu. So Kendu, this is the one that Shaitoshi Kusama, the lead developer of um, SHIB, was following. And yeah, it's on a nice little pump, honestly. It's sitting at just under $6 million mark cap. Shaitoshi was falling. It's, it's a meme coin on ETH, from what I can tell. I just bought a little bag and just holding it um, because literally Shaitoshi Kusama at SHIB held it. And this would only make sense to people who have been around in crypto. So if you're like brand new, I'm I'm trying to dumb it down and get you guys ready. But this just keep in mind, if you're brand new, this is not the normal. Like we're talking meme coins. We're talking crazy talk right now. Um Start out in the large cap space and slowly kind of work your way in to uh, the crazy space, I would say, right? Okay, let's see what else we got. We talked about VSG. Pal Idea AI is on a nice little pump. We talked about it today, guys. That, you know, we we're probably going to bounce back off here and make another leg up. Uh, look what's happening right now. Uh, when we talked about it earlier this afternoon, it was like $460 million market cap. Uh, Pal AI now $524 million. This thing, I think, is getting to a billion. Full disclosure, just was an early investor. But when I talked about networking, I met these guys last year at ETH Toronto. Had the chance to meet one of the head marketing people there when it was a $5 million market cap. Crazy. And uh, I took profits too soon, but I'm never going to be mad about making money in crypto. You, you, that's the other thing. So many people are afraid that if they cash out, they'll miss on potential gains. You've got to have a plan, stick to your plan, and make the profits. Take the profits and have plans with those profits. You cannot be mad at yourself if you 10x on a meme coin 
and it ends up going to 30, you could have made a 30x. It's happened with me with Dogecoin. It's happened to me with me with a lot of cryptos. But I'm not going to lose sleep over that because a win is a win. And I think that's one of the biggest hurdles people have to get over. It's like they're waiting for it to 100x. You have to have a plan. And, and 10x is really great money, guys. And you have to realize those gains and slowly but surely stack your portfolio. And all of a sudden now you have a little bit more liquidity. You have a little bit more capital to throw at different meme coins, different projects. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what else we got. Drop myself down again. Um, Myro still up a little bit today like it was earlier. Brett has been looking great today. This is the top meme coin on base chain right now. It's looking for a third green candle in a row, and it's looking to maybe make a run at all-time highs. It's looking really, really good. So Brett on base, um, again, $386 million market cap, looking really, really solid. Uh, we talked about, oh, D-Pay. How about D-Pay today? How about D-Pay? We talked about it earlier today. It was like $29 million. Now it's almost $32 million market cap. This thing just unbelievable, man. This run that this has been on. D-Pay has just been amazing. Look at this hour by hour. Look at the one week chart here for D-Pay. I mean, oh my God. If you guys are unfamiliar with DPay, this is a legitimate project as well. Not a meme token. Devour. Uh, give them a look, guys. We helped them with marketing when they first got off the ground. Um, I had a chance to meet one of the lead developers, again, at ETH Toronto. Amazing people. Was an early investor. Helped them with marketing early on. A lot of people gave me a ton of shit for it. I remember they were like, Zach Devour's not doing anything, blah, 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 blah. And I said, just give it time. And they've been building throughout the bear market. Look at this. I mean, they have just been on an unbelievable run. Um, so that's great to see. Very, very happy for them. Um, and that entire community, they have been grinding. Um, Alvara is a VC-funded project. That is not looking great. Uh, I'm in this one too. And I think a lot of the pre-sailers have sold off. I've been holding the bag on this one, um, but I'll continue to do so. I did do decent though. So on these VC ones, a lot of times how it works is, so I had to put money into this up front. I think I put like $1,000 into it up front. Now that $1,000 did turn into about 3,000 at launch. So I was able to get my initial out. Oops, I keep wanting to do that. There we go. I was able to get my initial out and a little bit of profit. So even at these price levels, I'm still ahead. And now I just kind of wait and see because I really do believe in the project as a whole. Just the chart has not panned out for me so far. Um, so we'll see. I mean, there's still time. You got to give it some time. That's Alvara. We've been watching that. Vault's one we liked for a while. They are a partner of uh, Pal AI. Still like it a lot. This is interesting because we're on a nice support line here for Vault. So if you're looking at something in the AI sector, this might be one that you would like. Full disclosure, I'm an investor and did help them with marketing as a partner. They just wanted a couple of videos. And I still, I mean, I'm I'm covering them right now for free. Um, but just because I think I I think they're a good team. Vault's ecosystem, including Vault Chain, is a layer one blockchain, which offers AI escrow, seamless over-the-counter trades. Um Token holders reap benefits within their ecosystem as well. Uh, kind of a techie play, but also in the AI escrow sector, layer one blockchain might be something that interests you. It just depends on kind of what type of investor you are, what kind of, what kind of things you're looking for. Um, but on the chart, you know, as much as we can do TA on a new-ish chart, these are weekly candles, by the way. So it did come out in October 2023. It's been out for a little while in crypto's terms. Um Maybe this is kind of our bottom here. Hopefully we bounce off this little support line here we see and maybe make another run. Because um, at one point, we got up here to about a $38 million market cap on a big candlestick wick up back in February. Okay, we're at $12 million right now. So um, 
that could be an interesting one to look into. As always, I'm just putting you guys on plays and alpha. Bad idea AI, I still like this one quite a bit. Um, these are the weekly chart. We went parabolic, have come back down, but we are building back up the last month or so uh, here on Bad Idea. A little bit of a red candle on this weekly. This is weekly candles. Kulo, Polygon, Polygon Matic. Finally cooled down a little bit, but I think this was a necessary pullback. We got in this one at $11 million mark cap, never worked with them or marketed it or anything, just found this one um, on Polygon. Seem to be gaining a lot of traction, and uh, I like this one still. I think there's a big community. Volume has been still pretty steady. We doubled up. We more than doubled, took our initial out, and uh, a little bit in profits as well, and we're um, we're riding the wave. Uh, AIBB, you said you were sponsored. AIBB? What's that one? What's AIBB? Sui is very interesting, man. I really like that one, MT, in, in the large cap space. And you know what? Maybe I should be doing some live streams, like more, like do one like dedicated just to the large cap space and then do another one dedicated to meme coins. I kind of like wrap like all this stuff into, into one. Brett looks good long-term. Also Slurf and Book of Meme. Yeah, we, in, we invested in Book of Meme on the dip at around a $700 million mark cap um, after it went to $1.8 billion, which was crazy. But uh, Brett, I, I agree. I mean, Brett could be, a lot of people are saying Brett could be the Shiba Inu on base. I mean, every chain needs a SHIB, right? I, I would think. Jazz me to three cents this week. Yeah, we've been, uh, we stacked some uh, some Jazz me recently, yesterday, actually, Ernie. So I'm, I'm liking Jazz me. I'm liking our position there. Uh, let's see. Where can you, um, oh man, it just depends. Uh, Alt-J, so if they're on Solana, you want to do the Phantom Wallet. And then inside the Phantom Wallet, there's Radium and Jupiter. These are all DEXs. So I don't know how familiar you are with trading crypto on DEXs. Like with Ethereum, you use MetaMask and then Uniswap is how you swap. And your cryptos, your assets are actually in MetaMask. For, for Solana, I use the Phantom Wallet and then Jupiter and Radium DEXs. Um, for Coinbase or for Base Chain, I use Sushi Swap. Sushi Swap is just another Uniswap uh, type, type deal. Um, so it really just depends on what chain you're on. Um, but these are all cryptos you can get in the U.S. on the DEXs. Uh, let's see what else we got here, guys. Uh, we talked about Wagme earlier today. They're still kind of hovering right now, 46 mil. Still looking really good on their chart. Still looking really good. That's their weekly. Yeah, they launched way back in 2022. Um, Southside T got a super chat. Tonic, Lady, Spell, Mog are all good picks. Appreciate that, man. Uh, the only one we own out of that list, I have a little bit of spell token. Holding that one more longer term. Uh, I think it still has some upside in this bull run. Uh, but those other ones, I know ladies, a lot of people are in that one as well. Uh, could be interesting. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Vito, thank you uh, for putting that in there. Um, prayers go out to the family there. Yes, sir. Uh, Alt J for sure, man. You just got to kind of see uh, see which ones which ones you like. Um, I, but I would say for Solana, the Phantom Wallet. That's P H A N T O M. And then uh, Coinbase, you can just add that network to your MetaMask. I don't know if any of this is making sense. Um, they make it so hard, man. Whenever whenever we get that killer app that just makes it easy to do all your swaps cross chain does it doesn't matter what the wallet or whatever or blockchain or whatever or this wallet goes with this swap eventually we're going to get something that allows this to be way easier wouldn't that be freaking nice if that came out sooner rather than later that would help out adoption so much 
so many people don't even dabble in this crazy meme coin space because it's just so hard to comprehend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we've been we've been watching Byte. Is it up a little bit? I think it was. It's up like 10%. I haven't looked at this chart in a while. Yeah, Byte's on a little bit of a pullback the last two weeks, but hey, maybe this is kind of a necessary pullback. I don't know much about this one, but is that a $31 million market cap? Still good volume. Um, I've had it on here watching it. Keep an eye out on Byte. Yeah, there's the super chat. Thank you, Crypto Master, for that, by the way. I own a little bit. I just, I have it sitting over on crypto.com. I bought like 300 bucks when it got listed there. I missed the big wave on that one, man. Like I missed the big run up, but I bought a little bit on crypto.com just because I had some USDC sitting over there. And guys, when I say I bought like three, four, 500 or something, when I'm saying that, that is money that I am willing to lose. I think that's a really important point. And it's crazy because four years ago, I would have never envisioned throwing 300 at something and even having that excess money because I didn't have it. Um, but I'm at a position now. I'm very grateful that I can throw and, uh, you know, throw some darts at some of these and it's not going to drastically impact my life at all. So when I do say that, I want that to be like kind of known when I say I threw like a few hundred bucks at it, it's, it's, it's a gamble, you know? So at this point too, cock Inu was kind of, pretty big market cap in fact where is the market cap of it now let's see i haven't even i should probably be looking at that um no that's not it that's the one on saul where's the one on avalanche there right it might be better to do it this way it's up a little bit today Pretty much right where I bought it, I think. I mean, it still looks solid. The volume's still there. I mean, it's listed on some major centralized exchanges now too, right? KuCoin. Yeah, but it's still not listed on Coinbase and Binance. Probably, I don't know if it ever will be with that name. <laughs> Still kind of waiting to see if it can make that push to a billion. I, I think it could. It's kind of like Brett on uh, base, right? It's like the first big meme coin on AVAX that got really mainstream. Um, they don't have crypto.com listed here, do they? Or did they? Oh, there it is. Yeah, they have it listed here. I wanted to look at where's the most of their volume coming from. So why is this thing in the way? I want to get this sidebar out of here. Why can't I see that? Hold on. There we go. That's why. Okay, so by volume. Wow. Crypto.com has like no volume for it. Shit. Wonder why. Everybody's trading in on KuCoin, BitTrue, Bybit. I do have a Bybit affiliate. I don't even think I have it down there. I got to put it back down there. Bybit is a good exchange, depending on where you are in the world. Um, Landwolf, I've heard about that one. Yeah, if you guys don't, yeah, like I just did here with with uh, Cock Inu, when people aren't sure where to buy a token, when you get to CMC and click on the markets tab for that coin, you can copy the contract from the bottom to put into the decks. Exactly. So when you go to this markets tab, you can see where it's listed, either on centralized exchanges, decentralized exchanges, and the contract um, is always right here. Copy to clipboard. There you go. Um, but when you're getting in some of these brand new ones, you want to get on there. If you're getting in, like if you're trying to get in early to these, you want to get in before they're listed on centralized exchanges, right? Like that's how you're going to make the most gains. Um, okay, we got sidetracked a little bit. 
Uh, yeah, I can do that. Hold on one sec. How is that? That's probably better. There we go. There we go. Thank you for that. Made my thing a little bit smaller, my box a little bit smaller there. Okay. Let's see what other ones, any other ones that are interesting. We talked about BitRock this morning. We talked about them for a little while. They're really strong um, team. This is a layer two. This is still the weekly chart. Really like BitRock as a longer term play in this bull run still. Been holding them, their token for a while. Been working with them for a while too. Um, nothing else crazy going on there. I will, I will uh, be looking for Apollo. They they did relaunch. I know that looks terrible, um, but I am holding a lot of Apollo. I think they're going to do really well. They're still only at a three point four five million dollar market cap. They're getting heavily into gaming now. I think you know people are taking profits as they do and they migrate or whatever. Um, but I think this is going to be a really strong play. Nobody really knows about it. Um, but I know the team there really well. I know Matt really well. Um, met him in person a few different times. And I think, I believe in his team. I think what they can build there, an, e an ecosystem in gaming that could be super small cap compared to, you know, your galas, even if it gets to like Mira level. I wonder what Mira is doing, actually. Um, it's up 9%. Nice. Yeah, this is another gaming crypto that I really like, guys. Mira. Okay, they've been they've been around for a while. They're only at 18 mil market cap right now. Actually, I think they're bigger than that. They should be bigger than that. Yeah, 178 million. That's what I thought. Is that the same Mira? Yeah. Um, that must just be a weird glitch where they're not taking in centralized exchange volume. But yeah, Mira is around 178 million dollar market cap. Rank 339. Um, market wise, they are on, on Bybit, KuCoin, OKX, some big exchanges, but still kind of underground. I really, there's their all chart. I really like, I really like Mira. Thoughts on Moon or Normie? I don't know about either one of those, Bobby. Moon or Normie? Are they both meme coins? Uh, realistically, how much do you think SHIB will rise in 2024, 2025? Um, you know, most of these tokens that are already out, you're looking at anywhere from like a 5 to 10x. These ones that are like top 20. And the bigger you get, the harder it is to move the needle. You know, like Bitcoin's currently, we'll call it what? What is it? 68,000? I mean, for it to double, that's huge, you know, um, which I think it will. Probably even maybe 3x from here. But you know, a lot of people have to realize that SHIB had its parabolic run. It's a $15 billion market cap. It can still do extremely well. But I just don't want to be that influencer who says, like, SHIB's going to the absolute moon and it's going to be a dollar. Like, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Like, and I love SHIB, guys. I absolutely love SHIB. That's not FUD. That's just being realistic and understanding, like, all of that, right? Will it have amazing runs? Yes. Do I think it has still the strongest community in crypto? Yes. Does it have upside potential? Yes. Do I think it'll hit all-time highs? Yes. Like, 100%, you know? I am familiar with X-Alpha AI. Yeah, I've looked at them before. I actually talked to somebody close to the team for a little while, and um, it kind of just slipped my mind. So Crypto Los, I appreciate you bringing that back up. I agree, Jonathan. Yeah, great gaming layer too. I think it's a sleeper. How far can SHIB go? I mean, the thing that I like to do is this. I go to the coinperspective.com, if it'll load. And we go to SHIB. I mean, here you go. It's currently... Now, the one outlier with SHIB is burning tokens. If we start burning like crazy amounts of tokens, that can throw some things for a loop in a good way. But let's just go by the supply we have, okay? Just go by the supply we have. 
We know our all-time high. We know we're trying to get to three zeros one. That would be an all-time high. That's still an upside of 259% from here. You know, I think we can get somewhere in this range. You know, maybe upside of about $176 billion market cap. We got to about 40, 45. You know, that would be like a 3, 4x from our previous all-time high. You know, I think that's a fair estimate. You know what I mean? We're at a $16 billion market cap. I think that would be on the high end. But even if we just get to like the two range, $117 billion, a little bit more than double where we got last cycle, maybe the one five, eighty-eight billion. $88 you know, somewhere in this neighborhood. Um, I think we just have to be realistic, guys. And the thing of it is, we just don't know where the retail demand, when they come rushing in, where they're going to flock to. A lot of times they go to the new thing. Remember, SHIB was new in 2021. It's not new anymore. You know, it came out in August 2020. Now, what could really be interesting is if SHIB builds out a big gaming ecosystem, for example, this is what I've been saying, um, but I'm not a developer. But if they build out a big gaming ecosystem, now, all of a sudden, SHIB is appealing to a whole different audience, right? Or if this metaverse bridges with gaming and they actually start to bring, bring utility and developers who are not just meme coin investors, they want to start building on Shibarium, then we can go to the next level. Then it's a whole different animal, right? So I think gaming would be the path of least resistance and just a, an amazing opportunity to be one of the leading gaming platforms. That's just me. Now, I know they want to do a lot. They want to become a completely decentralized ecosystem. And I think that that's brilliant. And I think they could still do that and do really, really well. But I think we have to be realistic with our expectations. And I think, you know, this, I'm not saying something like that's out of line here either. Like when we look at, and, and SHIB could pleasantly surprise me and do, you know, at a, at a $16 billion market cap, a 10x would be from here 160 billion. I could see that to the upside. A 10x from there would be 160 billion. Right? But I mean you got to look at like Cardano, you know, a 10x from here would be $6.40. It's 64 cents. That's like kind of our average price target for Cardano. You know, a 10x for here for Dogecoin would be a dollar 70 from 17 cents to a dollar 70. I think a lot of people would be excited about that. Right. I mean, SHIB's kind of in this category, guys. It's this big, you know, it's number 12 overall. It's huge. So it's amazing. But because of that, it's much harder to 20, 30, 40 X. It's I'm not saying anything that's bad about SHIB. It's just the matter of the fact, right? Um, but crypto's pumping a little bit, huh? I see peace pumping. All right, guys, I'm kind of tired. I am going to close up shop. It's been fun. Uh, we hung out for an hour or so, answered some questions, uh, enjoyed it with you guys as always. I appreciate you guys for checking in to the channel. If you're brand new, make sure you do subscribe, uh, hit the like button, do all that great stuff. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys for being here with me tonight. And we will see you in, oh, DiCaprio's pumping like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love to see it. 1.24 million. It's almost getting to our level where we got to take our profits out. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. This meme coin world is crazy, man. That's looking pretty bullish though, huh? Take care, guys. I appreciate you guys. Oh, I, oh by the way, before you guys go, before you guys go, um, mark your calendars for tomorrow morning. Before you guys go, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, okay? Tomorrow morning, we're doing a Twitter space. I want to see you guys there. Okay. Uh, this is our fifth one in a row. 
I really want to make this the biggest one ever. This crypto bull run will be insane. Crypto Breakfast Club, episode five. Make sure you're following me. It's at Z underscore Humphreys here on Twitter. Set a reminder for tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. And come join us. Join the conversation. We'd love to have you on here. I'll bring you up as a speaker. I'd love to get your thoughts. I can answer questions. And we'll have some other great minds in here. So make sure you guys come and check us out for our Twitter space tomorrow morning, 9.30. I got to get rested up for, uh, yeah, the Crypto Breakfast Club, episode five over on Twitter. Episode five. Uh, DiCaprio, too late. I don't know, man. Who knows? We were in it this morning. We jumped in it. Uh, well, we saw it first. Our One of our viewers put it on our radar at 400K. By the time I got in, I think it was 670 or 700K market cap. So I, it just depends on what your goals are. I mean, I threw, uh, I threw three salon at it, which is more than I usually do, but I was having fun with it. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can take my profits out. Uh, my my initial investment out before I go to bed tonight or, you know, and then wake up and hopefully it's like at 5 million or something. Who You never know, man. You never know. Um, but have a good one. I will see you guys tomorrow for the Crypto Breakfast Club, episode five. Let's go. Appreciate you guys.